Merciful gods! By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. During the previous episode, I had wondered if the botchling and the lubberkin concepts were creatures of Slavic mythology, and turns out they are. Although they do seem to go by different names in the game than they did in their uh, mythological counterparts. It is a creature that, because it was stillborn and buried in an improper way, it rose into this monster. Now, I'm guessing it didn't really have any sort of higher intelligence or anything like that. And I'm not sure whether it does now or not. But by giving it a name and going through the ritual that Geralt did with it, it seems to have changed its intentions and intentions, and it's no longer the hostile monster that we had encountered when we uh, when we went to find its body. Now it seems to be based around the idea of protecting the family that it was born to, and it's leading us to find Anna and Tamara. Though uh, it's not going to take us. The whole way there so i guess its guardian its job as a guardian of the family seems to be rather quite limited of course it led us into a swamp everything leads you in the damn swamps with drowners and ghouls and various necrophages and water hags and all sorts of nasty ass shit running around out here what do we have here Bones have been here a while. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. I honestly don't remember what the conclusion to this part of the story was. With the horse being slaughtered at the edge of the forest. Now I, I thought originally that this might have been the result of the werewolf that Ciri had killed a few episodes ago. But that was closer to Crookback Bog, and we're not particularly close to Crookback Bog at this point. And there will be a description of the monster later on, which is not, is not that of a werewolf. So, I don't really know what to say at this point, other than this is just another corpse slaughtered by some monster that we haven't encountered yet. And that tends to happen quite a bit in this game. Who's that? In the room. Go on now. What you seek here, sir? Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure? Not even passing through? Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet, boy! Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of our father's men. Because I'm not. 
I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is, hoy. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I means. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, for like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. Moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose, thought it'd tear my head off. And those damn birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. Toward then, I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What marks? These, well, like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye, though these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing, as if they burned with raw fire. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar broke out in a cold sweat, and before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods, big as a barn, with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy-nilly, which were the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded. Said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Why help them at all? You risked a lot. I did that. Old Miss Tamara. Three moons passed, a fever gripped my boy. We thought he was done for. Tamara learned it. Brought food and salves. We're poorer than dirt itself. She saved my boy. No two ways about it. Me, myself, I'd have never dared to help. But my missus told me, a time of war and contempt's come. A time of folk gone wrong. We needs to repay good with good. Who stands by idly does evil as if. Married a wise woman. Crying shame we couldn't save Mrs. Anna in the end. Thanks for your help. The lady. She'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. All right, so the two women separated. The mother, well, we don't know what happened to her yet. The daughter, she went to Oxenfruit, was it called? Which is another country or something like that. That's a ways away. Now, you can say with some certainty that the daughter is safe, but the mother, well, you don't know what happened to her yet. So we're going to have to search the area and try to figure out what the hell happened to her. You kind of have to appreciate the danger that the fisherman that we encountered was taking up by taking in Anna and Tamara. Because, I mean, he's, I guess, really, it thinks about, you have to think about, the game world is sort of like a compressed version of reality. 
And even though it only took a couple of minutes to ride to the fisherman's hut from Crow's Perch, and you can actually sort of see Crow's Perch if you climb the hill, it is further away than it feels like or actually is, if that makes any sense. But by taking in the Baron's wife and daughter, he's putting himself in a lot of risk, helping her run away. And that puts him and his family, to be clear about that, at risk as well. Baron does not seem like a forgiving person. He wants his wife back, he wants his daughter back, and he finds out that this guy living over by the swamp is it protected them and helped them get away. Can't imagine that turned out well for the for the fisherman and his family. Remember me? Stable hand pulled you out of the fire. We'll never forget that. Yeah. I'm grateful. What do you know? Nice to get a little recognition here and there. A little bit of money too. Line my pockets. Witcher, a word, please. Believe we've not had the pleasure. They call me the sergeant. Left over from my army days, you understand. When me and Philip, meaning the Baron, served under a Temerian banner. Wanted to ask you about something. What is it? That night when the Baron ordered everyone to lock their doors, stay inside. What did you and the Baron do? Gotta ask the Baron about that. Speaking of which, know where he is. Garden. Spends a lot of time sitting there of late. Drunk. No. Don't drink, don't eat. Just sit. Could use some hair of the hound. Got any vodka? There you are. See the hollyhock there, the violet blooms. Brought the plants here from Nazaire. Anna had read some story, insisted on having them. Spent hours tending to them, trimming, pruning. She was so content at that. And them, the frilly ones, called birds of paradise in Zeracania. But Tamara called them dragons of paradise. She adored them. Damn shame I'll never learn which blooms would please Daya most. Though it's good to know her spirit's free. Your loss. It must hurt. Bad. But there wasn't anything we could do. No. Not now. Not anymore. It was too late. That was clear. Should have acted earlier. Taking them all from this damned villain. In this hole. This reesty mire. Nothing could go right here. Got some information about your family. You've learned something? Well, let's go inside. It's a bit chilly out. Perhaps you'd care to wager. Think you can outrun me on an horse? <laughs> Naturally. What's the stake? Black Mare. The one in the stable. Oh, that won't do at all. What happened? You get the jitters? 